How to buy pre-construction condos. This is Yossi Kaplan, Toronto real estate agent and mortgage broker with Search Realty and Search Mortgage. And today I'm gonna to review how to buy pre-construction condos. So, it's fall of 2019 and all the pre-construction condos are coming online. And you see there's tons of emails of VIP sales and platinum sales and pre-construction and all that stuff. So, I'm gonna review a little bit of the process and how it works and uh, see if I can uh, help you figure it out. And for those who bought, congratulations. And for those who haven't, there'll be a very good video for you to learn a bit about the process, how it works, okay? So, what's the construction condo? So, here's uh, the Thompson 629 King right behind me there. So, uh, this place, you know, was basically uh, an old motel the developer bought a long time ago now, raised it and put the condo up. So, what happens is, before the sales center opens, before the sales center opens to the public, here's a sales center for 543 Richmond, okay? Uh, which were built uh, just down the street on Portland there. So before it opens, uh, you have a chance to invest in, in the building. Before it opens to the public. Why would you do that? For a very simple reason. You get better price and you get better selection of units. Let's say a building is launching with 400 units, okay? Um, the first step of the sale would be to allow all the investors to uh, buy units in the building uh, before it even opens to the public. And why would anyone do like that? Very simple. Developer, let's say they have to sell 400 units, they will allocate, they will say, you know, 100 units will sell to our investors, the people that always uh, follow us and uh, come and invest in our projects. So they'll do that. And they'll basically open the sale, call a few VIP agents like myself and say, Yossi, go get your clients, we're gonna open this building, that's the date, bring them here. Let's get the units, here's some floor plans and the sample prices, let's go. So then I call my investor and say, guys, girls, <laughs> there's, a, there's a new building coming up. Uh, it's a very good investment. I decided to promote it. So I'm supporting this. I'm uh, supporting this project. And here's the information that you need in order to pick a unit. Now, if you haven't done it before, it's a bit complicated, obviously. That's why I'm here for. I've been doing it for so many years now. Uh, but uh, the main process is simple. You look at the floor plans, you do a bit of research about the building, usually I'll send you an investor package. They will include a brochure, a map, location of the building. Of course, you can research it yourself and I, I uh, recommend you do that. But you know, if I send it to you, that means I support it. There's so many buildings, obviously I don't send all of them. I'm not a guy that will send like whatever comes my way. Um, I will send you what I think is a great investment. Okay, I, I pick and choose. I'm very, very picky because I like to have a uh, high level of success uh, and that that's very helpful if you pick a unit so I'll send you the information if, if you well versed in it you'll pick your first your first choice your second choice your third choice put your information in put your driver's license in we submit the worksheet and the developer calls you to sign okay now if that one just over your head and it was too fast I'm gonna break it down and explain a little a uh, um, little slower what I just said okay so it works like that um, we have a new building. Uh, here's Kingly right behind me here. Uh, before Kingly was Kingly, it was nothing. Okay, it was just just a parking lot, empty lot. Um, when the developer, after the developer uh, bought the land and made the plans and got all the approvals, uh, they go what's called the pre-sale. The pre-sale or the pre-construction sale is the very first sale, the very first opportunity you can buy a condo in the building. Okay. So what happens is developer will send us uh, VIP brokers, platinum agents, whatever you want to call it. You know, sell, send us the information and said, you know, we're releasing uh, so many units. Sometimes they're going to release the entire building, sometimes just, just a bit of it. It really depends on the developer's prerogative and it could change. There's no rule here. Uh, every project is different. Every developer is different. But mostly they'll, they'll release some of the building, maybe a third of it, maybe a half of it, sometimes all of it, um, but usually not all. And we'll call, we'll call the investor and say, this is a really good building. I think uh, there's some good units here. Um, let's look at the units. So we look at the floor plans and we pick our first, our top three choices. You know, this is the one I like first. This is the second, this is the third. And then all the investors and all the VIP agents, the platinum agents, like myself, we send our worksheets. That's a sheet that I say, this, this is my name, Yossi Kaplan, I'm the, I'm the VIP agent. That's my client name, Jim Smith. And I add my client's name, top three choices. Jim would like a two bedroom on a high floor, uh, model X, thousand square feet. Jim's second choice would be um, a three bedroom, penthouse corner unit, uh, 1400 square feet, floor plan L2. And Jim's third choice would be a two bedroom on the lower floor, um, 
Northern Exposure Floor Plan P3, okay? Kind of like that. Now, these worksheets are sometimes submitted via email. Sometimes you write it down in pen. Sometimes you submit them electronically. It, you know, it's, it, it, there's no rule. There's so many systems. You really have to be really quick here and to make sure that um, we do the work needed. Now, time is of the essence. Why? Because if, uh, let's say, Galleria Mall uh, releases phase one with 291 units um, and they're going to release 200 units out of the building and 1,000 agents come to the VIP opening and each agent, say, submits uh, two worksheets, you get 2,000 worksheets for 200 units. So the demand is 10 people are trying to buy one unit. But <laughs> it's more like 20 people are trying to buy a small unit and only 3 people are trying to buy a larger unit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, everybody wants a cheaper unit. Most the investors don't want a cheaper unit. So you usually go for the l smaller unit. Now sometimes it could be advantageous for you to buy a two-bedroom unit, but just so just you understand generally how it works, because this video I'm trying to give you the process, most investors will go for the smaller, cheaper units because they're easier to flip, easier to rent, easier to sell out, and so on. Uh, a lot of end users intending to live in the units, or maybe uh, more um, experienced investors, richer investors, they'll go for usually for a two-bedroom unit, uh, a more spacious, which has a long lasting value and like in a previous video I showed you that the larger units actually at the end probably make more cash but you may not have the amount to uh, for the 20 percent deposit 15 plus 5 to take a large unit or to even carry it and that's why you may want to bid on the smaller one and most people you know the pyramid is uh, thickest at the bottom and thinnest at the top so most people would like a smaller unit. Okay, so we send all these worksheets in. Uh, we used to fax them. Now we email them or submit them electronically or sometimes on on a spot. Just write them down with a pen. You know, all the above. And then the developer, it could be the same day on a spot or it could be a couple of days later. They will basically call back or email back and say, okay, you'll see uh, for your client, Jim Smith, we've allocated unit L2. You've got the two bedroom on the high floor. You didn't get the penthouse, you didn't get the one bedroom, that's the unit. And Jim Smith has the choice of going and signing for the unit or not signing for it. But at that point, especially if those sold out um, VIPs, you're not gonna go, you're not gonna know exactly which unit um, you've received, uh, you've been allocated until you've been allocated the unit. So that's why you put your choices. But even if you say, I want the two bedroom uh, corner, uh, unit and that one's already gone because uh, there's so many worksheets and, and people were in front of you in the line in that case In that case, you know, uh, you may get a similar unit, but not the exact unit you wanted Even if you got the exact unit you wanted it may not be the exact floor you wanted So you gotta understand there's a bit of give-and-take here in order for you to get into the VIP sale uh, Especially if it's a sold out if you get your worksheet in and if you get selected Okay, because your chances sometimes are 1 to 20 or even more. Um, take that unit. Why do I say it? Because even if it's not the exact unit you look for, the fact is that so many people were asking for units in that building and so many people are looking to find a unit in the building just tells me that the chances are that you'll be able to flip it later, um, whether as an assignment or you know, years later after you're closed, uh, obviously live in it, enjoy it, or maybe even rent it out are very, very high. The chances are very, very high the demand at the opening was super high. So if the demand in the opening was super high, um, you know, everybody wants in, and those who get in usually do really, really well. So that's why uh, you should buy a condo pre-construction. Now, the, the main advantages, the main two advantages are, of course, the price. You're gonna get the best price possible, and you get selection, more or less. It's top three choices, but you get some selection. After the fact, Let's say that after, and, and these sales could happen very, very quickly. You get like two or three days to look at the plans, submit your worksheets, and the following weekend, boom, um, come and sign the units, give us the checks, the deposit checks, and off we go. Now, sometimes, <clears throat> um, you know, people do not sign for the units that they received. Um, that's okay, it can happen. Um, but, you know, if that happens, especially if it's a sold out unit and somebody did that, and then, and, and you know, we went through the ringer and worked really hard to get them the unit and pull all the strings we can, and they didn't sign for it. Do you think we will be happy to assign them another unit and another VIP opening? I'll probably put them bottom, bottom of the list. Yes, I'll do it for them, but some people 
send worksheets and don't sign for it. And if that's what the person is doing, we will politely um, you know, move to the next, uh, put, put someone else in front of them. But if you are a, a real investor who is really looking for a unit, and even if I didn't get it for you for the first building, but you really wanted it, I'll, I'll get it to you. Maybe, maybe there'll be a rescinded unit that I can back, get back. Somebody returned the unit, you know, didn't sign for it like the other guy. Maybe that's the unit for you, or maybe I'll get you in, in uh, next phase, or maybe I'll get you another building. But if you're serious about buying, I'll get you the unit. If you're just poking and filling worksheets and not signing for them, that, that's a big problem for us because that really renders our time useless. And also other people that want to get units, you know, they can't because you took their unit. So don't do that. Now, the advantage of uh, buying units later, of course, if you buy them when the building is complete, you can, you can walk in, you can see it, um, and you can see exactly what you get, and you also know exactly what unit you get. Also, in the later phases, um, you know, even if it's pre-construction, but not the very first sale where you allocate a unit, but you don't know exactly what you're going to get, if you want to know exactly what you're going to you, you, you can try, in, and I would always try the first opportunity, always always send your worksheet don't ever not send your worksheet because if you don't you're not in the system and even if the unit is available they can't allocate it for you because you didn't ask for it so you have you have to send your worksheet you have to be in the system once you're in the system i can always call the sales manager for the condo bill and say hey toc jim smith really wants that two bedroom on the high floor let me know if you have one available or one coming or maybe one somebody uh somebody uh, let go of theirs and, and we'll get Jim in because I've never seen a situation where somebody wanted the unit they didn't get it. Maybe you want, gotta gotta work a little harder for it, but that's okay. You know that's that's what we do. So, <clears throat> but if if so, back to my other point. If if you do want to see the unit that you get, that you you can maybe come in a, at a later stage. Um, but later stage, you know you're gonna get that unit. It doesn't mean the price will be as good. Sometimes developers just leave the price throughout. Um, because they think that that's you know that's what the numbers are and that's what the price is going to get, but sometimes the developer uh, gives you um, the deepest discount in the VIP, and then every every round of sales price creeps up a little bit, and of course price is maximized once the building is complete, assuming that economy is the way it is. There's inflation built in, so all the price have to go up, and we discussed this in other videos. So you can see how when you buy pre-construction. Um, if you want to make the bucks, if you want to get the cheapest price, get in there first, okay? You can always uh, sell it later because if your price was the cheapest, the chances are that someone else will be willing and sold out. The chances are somebody else will be willing to pay you um, more for it because there's not enough units left. Um, if you buy in a second phase and you pay a little more for it, that's okay too as long as you feel good about the unit. That happens and that's totally fine because you're still getting a discount over what it would be you buy it later as an assignment or a resale, okay? And at this time, you may be able to pick exactly the unit you want, so that may not be such a bad idea. Also, don't forget that your deposit, you know, until occupancy is usually 15%. So if the unit went up by uh, $20,000, uh, 15% on $20,000 is really not that much. You know, it's uh, about, three, say, about $3,000 divided into three payments. So basically it means that each payment costs you another thousand bucks. Not that bad, you know, to get that unit you wanted. So don't get stuck on the price so much. You know, I didn't get the VIP, I got in the second round. It doesn't matter because if that unit is going to appreciate by $100,000, you still made a lot of money. Especially if you found that good unit that you wanted because that, you know, you might have gotten the, the best, cheapest deal for a unit that is like at the bottom and looking into the gallery like I'm here now. But, you know, the sale price will be depressed, will be maximized because you don't get a view. You're looking into a wall. Um, it's noisy from, you, you can hear all the noise here from whatever it is around me. Um, but if, if you did wait and, and, and you got the higher uh, floor unit, the, the nice corner with the view, that, that's pretty good. Now, developers, remember I said at the beginning of the video, the developer maybe has three or 400 units to sell, but they're only going to uh, use 200. Uh, so what happens with the other 200 or 100 units left? We're going to release them in stages. So after the VIP, they may do another round of sales and release some more units. Um, and and um, later in stages, they may release higher units. For example, the penthouses usually released at the very end. The penthouses are not really discounted because those are those are the crop. Those are what the developer 
they make a lot of their money, but also investors make huge money in penthouses. So the price on penthouses is always a little bit more. Or if developer is smart, uh, they're not going to build any large two-bedroom units on lower floors. There's just no point of doing that, although developers still do it. It's ridiculous. Uh, put the two-bedroom units on the top. Your best, largest units always at the top, and the small investor units on the bottom because those are rental units. So you want to increase your ROI, pay the least you can. See what I'm saying? So that is more or less the process of uh, buying VIP pre-construction condo. There's a lot to be said about it. This is really just a, like a tip of the iceberg introduction, tip of the melting iceberg introduction. Uh, but I, I hope you made a bit of sense. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. Send me an email, call me. It's all good. That's it.